Hi, I'm Rory McGorn with the Humboldt Broncos. This is the SJHL has partnered with the Insurance Brokers Association of Saskatchewan to develop a groundbreaking initiative to end the stigma around mental health. Very happy to have Lucas Ceccarelli, the assistant captain of the Humboldt Broncos here, to help us out and talk a little bit about his story. Lucas, thanks so much for doing this. Just want to start off, obviously, a lot, um, you know, around hockey. It happens to every player as often. You know, you may get cut from a team throughout your playing career. Has that ever happened to you? And then just how have you been able to sort of deal with that when that situation comes? Uh, yeah, you know, I think it's something that uh, a lot of hockey players deal with. I've definitely had it, had it happen to me when I was younger, even when I was older with junior teams. And it's something that, you know, it, it stings when it happens, but uh, I think it drives you more. Uh, makes you work harder to, to get there and accomplish your goals. So who are the, some of the people that you can lean on in that time, teammates, coaches, and uh, just to kind of help support through that situation when you might be feeling down on yourself? Uh, there's various uh, outlets you can talk to. Coaches are a big one. Family's huge. I think it's important to talk with family about that. Parents, uh, even aunts, uncles, you feel comfortable talking with. Friends, friends are always a good one because even hockey players, they might have a similar experience. And uh, yeah, it's good to talk to those people so that you're not holding it all in and, and you just get more frustrated. With the pressure and expectations that often follow a hockey player through the season, how have you been able to kind of deal with those and some of the ways that you can kind of release what maybe feels like a buildup at times? Uh, you know, I like to, when I'm away from the rink, I, I like to focus on doing stuff with buddies and, you know, just hanging out, getting away from hockey. I think it's really important as hockey players, we get so focused and, and caught up in all the little stuff. It's important to release and, you know, do stuff away from the rink. And, you know, even if you are feeling you can't get hockey off your mind, it's always good to talk about it with, uh, with the people around you. And obviously a big part of it is getting mentally focused for a game. Sometimes maybe you're not always there and in that uh, perfect state of mind to be ready for 60 minutes, but how are you able to kind of drive yourself up and get ready for a 58-game schedule in the SJHL? Uh, yeah, you know, some games it's, uh, it's tougher. You know, you don't feel like you're in it. And I think in those times it's just important to focus on fundamentals, you know, stay simple. And, and pre-game, you know, I'll just, I like to just calm myself down. You know, it's easy to get yourself worked up, but I like to just stay calm. It's just hockey. Nothing new here. Well, obviously, we'd like to thank the Insurance Brokers Association of Saskatchewan for this initiative to help end the stigma around mental health. And the main focus is, if you are feeling someone, obviously, just talk to someone. Yeah, for sure. There's Lucas Ceccarelli of the Humboldt Broncos. And again, big thanks to the Insurance Brokers Association of Saskatchewan.